Hey there everybody, Decaf here with a Blender uh, supplementary video here. Uh, today I want to go and show you uh, how to shrink wrap things. Uh, I know I sort of explained it in uh, my other video about shrink wrapping the decal onto the tail of the airplane, but I wanted to use this video here to show you how to shrink wrap this object here onto this cylinder and show you some of the things that shrink wrap actually does. So if we go into the uh, number one view mode here, we can see that our text is nice and uh, shapely. It's just as we inserted it. It's just the way we want it. Uh, so let's go ahead and shrink wrap this on. Uh, what we're going to need to do is move this in pretty darn close to the actual object. Uh, this helps uh, us deal with a lot of the uh, issues that might occur if we try to shrink wrap far away. Uh, generally, if you, the closer you are, the less likely uh, your object that you're shrink wrapping is going to be deformed in really weird ways. The farther out you are, the harder it gets for Blender to really understand what's going on and uh, what you're trying to do. So let's go ahead and uh, shrink wrap this. Go to Modifiers, Shrink Wrap. And then we got to figure out what object we want to shrink wrap around. So this is pretty easy. If we go in and select our main object, we see that this is titled Cylinder. And for really long names, what you can do is press the N key, go up here, copy of that, and then go straight back over to your text and paste that in. Uh, this is case sensitive, so pay attention. Uh, that can be a little tricky when you're trying to go back and forth. That's why I like to just use the copy paste method. So then uh, what we're gonna do is uh, accept that with an enter. And now you can see that our model sort of uh, blended right in. Uh, this is because our offset right here is zero. And we got to increase this offset a little bit. And I'll go into the textured view mode uh, just to help make this a little clearer. So as we can, uh, as we bump this out, you notice that we're getting more and more of our model coming through. Uh, but our T is not coming through. Why is this not coming through? Well, if we look here, uh, there's no place for uh, this vertical part of the T to be bent around. Um, if you look at the side here, you notice how we, all the other shapes are getting creased. If you, uh, you can see a crease right there, you can see another crease right down here. And what we need to do is, number one, give this a place to be creased. So if we go in here, go into wireframe view mode. Actually, we gotta cancel that out. Go into the wireframe view mode. We can go ahead and insert some cuts here. And they don't have to be precisely on here. But we should try to make them go straight across. There we go. Another one. And the last one. There we go. So now let's go ahead and make this shrink wrap around. Go into textured view mode again to get the contrast. And we're going to shrink wrap this around the cylinder, which all we have to do is paste that in because we already have it in the copy. And you can see it start to go in. And we bring it back out. And you notice that this looks kind of weird. Uh, this is not quite the way we had it set up originally. Um, if we go into the edit mode, we can see where the original pieces were. Uh, they are the pink and yellow highlight, and the white is where it actually is right now. Notice that the farther away from uh, we get from this point right here, the most the leftmost edge in this case, uh, the more deformed it gets. What shrink wrap actually does is rather than uh, project our uh, text onto this, what it'll do is it'll just bend it around. Uh, hence shrink wrapping. We're not projecting, we're just wrapping our text around there based on the closest point. This is why if we're really far away, we're gonna have a lot of problems with this. So uh, to finish this off, we just hit apply, but we have to be in object mode first. 
there we go. So that is our model fully shrink wrapped around. And now if we go into edit mode, notice that now the edit mode is completely back here as well. Um, we don't see the outline of the pink anymore showing the original text. We just see this brand new object that was shrink wrapped. So I hope this was useful. I will show a better way where you can uh, not get any deformations in my next video, uh, tutorial 10 I believe it is. Uh, but until then, if you have any questions about shrink wrapping, go ahead and throw them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, check out my previous videos. Uh, I hope you find everything really useful.